Hi there, my name is Monica Burns, and if we haven't met before, I'm a former classroom teacher and now run the blog classtechtips.com and host the Easy EdTech podcast. In this video, I'm excited to partner with a team at Wacom to share the Wacom One Creative Pen Display and One by Wacom. I've got them right here next to me, and we are going to take a closer look and an overhead view in just a moment. So we'll look at how these powerful tools can work in a lot of different classrooms. And I'll share examples specifically of how you can use them in math, science, ELA, social studies, and art classrooms. Let's go ahead, dive in, and take a closer look. So right now we're taking a different view. I have my Wacom One Creative Pen Display right here on my desk alongside of my laptop. And I'm gonna go ahead and get us zoomed in so you can see some of the things that you can do with this powerful tool. So acting as a second screen right now, I have explain everything right here on the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write for you so you can see me working here. So this is showing off explain everything with a special uh, pen right here. Now this is a powerful space. You can do so much as you can see my toolbar on the left hand side of the screen. So I'm able to go ahead and change colors, change all the add shapes, put in anything here that I want to as I am kind of drawing and creating in this space, moving things around, uh, organizing different pieces. So this becomes a really great tool if you want students to do lots of things to talk about their learning. You might ask them to demonstrate how to solve a complex math problem or one a little bit simpler for this demo for today, representing their thinking in different colors, showing how they came to their answer. And down here at the bottom of the screen, you can see this is where students can press record and create their own tutorial. So of course you might have students do this in a math environment to represent their thinking, but you might also have them brainstorm, um, use different tools like the collab board, um, or bring in different ideas into the space to share their learning. So speaking of Collabboard, you might have students use this tool to draw, to make a Venn diagram, to add different notes to their page, to pull in media or an image that they wanna add in as they're organizing their thinking. There's the opportunity to add in all sorts of shapes, to make it their own, to create their own diagrams right from within here. And of course, they can share what they are working Working on and bring in their classmates to collaborate together. So much that you can do within this space. I'm going to sneak my pen right here at the top and jump back on video with you all. So as you saw, you can use lots of tools side by side with Wacom One Creative Pen Display and One by Wacom including Collabboard, Explain Everything, Kami, Pear Deck, and more. As you think about technology integration this upcoming school year, these powerful tools are useful in all subject areas. You might use them in a science classroom as students are brainstorming ideas for an upcoming lab experiment. In a math classroom, your students might pause after watching tutorials created by someone else and make their own. In an English language arts classroom, students could annotate text and mark up the margins and share their thinking with their classmates. In a social studies classroom, your students might use this tool as they organize ideas for an interactive graphic organizer. And in an art classroom, your students might sketch something out and go on to create graphics and videos ready to publish and share with the world. Thanks for tuning into this video. I cannot wait for you to explore these powerful tools.